Welcome back at Sasna Home Cockpit. Uh, in my last video, uh, I, uh, I told you that I would uh, show you how you could very easily uh, add buildings to your uh, Auto 4 XP scenery. Uh, and uh, because uh, the default Auto 4 XP overlay scenery uh, 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 overlays are very good, but unfortunately, the uh, Autogen of X Plane uh, adds buildings which are not uh, yeah, realistic. In this case, we have here the village square of uh, Maastricht. Uh, there's a town hall in the middle, and in uh, X Plane, uh, I used uh, this uh, uh, overlay from Auto 4 XP. But X Plane generates a very big building instead of the building which it's supposed to be. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to get a realistic building in uh, X Plane. First of all, you have to go to Google Maps. Is this uh, just on the internet, as you can see? And then you have to point your mouse at the building you want to place. And that's what I do now. Here you see the 3D version. And I'll have to go back to the map. And here we are at the town hall. Now what you have to do is click at the building. As you can see I did this and then some pop-up shows. And this is very diff uh, important. These are the coordinates you have to use in x -plane. So the building is located at 50.8. 851291 and at 5.691478. That's what you have to remember. You have to write this down. So you go to first step is go to Google Maps, look out for the place you or the building you want to uh, find, and uh, write down the coordinates which are shown. Then you have to start with already started with is this one and you have to do new then some uh, untitled tool uh, is uh, on screen uh, I'll uh, leave it the untitled tool but you can uh, call it anything you want and then you have to open it so first new then open it then the main screen of that is shown looks like this and what you have to do first is go to this site and pick all libraries. So you can look in all libraries you want. Then you go search for, search in the top left corner, you have to type in what you are looking for. And in my case, uh, I was looking for a kind of church. So I write type church. Let's see. Excuse me for the bad uh, filming. I'm uh, using my iPhone, but it's just a great movie to help you out. Then a list appears with all objects which are churches. You can click on each of them, the village town. Uh, all kinds of churches appear. And I think this one is nice. No. What you have to do is select this one. You see the object is highlighted, blue square on objects, and you have to click on the map. Doesn't matter where. So I'll put it over here. Then you go to the right side, and what you see here are the coordinates, latitude and longitude of the position of the church you just clicked on. So you have to change these and uh, the church is placed in the right position in x -plane. What you also have to do is make sure when, when, uh, uh, how, uh, or when the church is shown. If you set the default, the church is always shown. As you set it as totally insane, the church is only seen, can only be seen when you have selected all objects in x -plane. So if you want to show 
that we, we want to show the church to be shown at each uh, uh, level of uh, uh, detail, you have to s uh, select default. What you then have to do is go to the pointer. And you can zoom in while it's calling the mouse. You see the church, and on top, and by clicking on the church, or selecting them, this symbol appears. You can move by hand, or you can, and that's a uh, something which is uh, nice you can also rotate the church if it is an oil orientation as you can see you can rotate them just the way you like if you have done this then the church will appear and explain on the right position just make sure that you go to file and save but also export scenery pack when you do this the scenery will automatically be saved in the, your scenery folder and will be shown in explain what you also can do and that's an uh, uh, other feature which is very nice is uh, remove the auto gen scenery around this church and if the church was on a uh, square with no buildings around it so what i'll do it's very easy. I zoom out and go to this tool. And what you can do, you draw a line and you have a square. And all scenery in the square will be deleted uh, if you uh, want that. And you have to do that uh, this way. You have to go the right menu from the exclusion zone it's called and what you can see you have options here what has to be excluded now i want to be excluded the objects i want to be excluded the facades uh, i think the forest i will leave because trees are necessary the beaches aren't there roads i can uh, remove them and so on and then you have to save again and you have to make sure that you export to explain and this way it's very easy to add an existing uh, to add a building to an uh, overlay i hope that this was uh, clear uh, and i'm sorry for the bad quality of the movie because i used my iphone but i wanted to do a quick movie uh, and i will make another movie in which i will show you how you can uh, use the overlays as background which is uh, uh, a little bit easier to work with but you have to do some additional steps but for now it is just uh, very easy go to google maps find a uh, building uh, write down the coordinates go to web editor select a building which resembles the building you want uh, put the right coordinates in and uh, exclude the surrounding buildings by making an exclusion zone export and then you have the new building and explain i hope it uh, is a little bit uh, clear how i did this and uh, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Bye.